So in the Pro version, it's going to be easier to create 3D sketch. So if I launch 3D mesh sketch here, I can ask the software to help me to create those curves. I can define sensitivity and, and separator. I can also define the minimum area and press next and check the result. So you can see the software already find some regions, uh, created some curves, and I can modify this line minimum length if I want to. Or I can press OK and review it afterwards. So I think it did a pretty good job, but I don't really like that one. So I can maybe delete those curves. Here are those lines, maybe delete that one. If I go back there, I can delete that one and maybe modify the way it built it. So here I can see that there is three curves. If I hide this, those curves are anyway on the mesh, but I don't like to have three curves here. So I'm going to merge them. So merge it with two ends, that one and that one. And okay, so it merged that one and do the same here, merge from here to there and okay. Now I got this, this curve, but if I look at that now, what you can do on this curve is select it without offsetting. So select that curve and tell the software, I don't want to have that many control points. Maybe I want to have, well, I forgot to split, to merge it. Okay, I need to merge it. So merge that one and that one and press okay, okay. Now I can select that curve. So you see there's a lot of control points there. I can tell the software I don't want to have one on nine control points. I want to have 20. So it will straight up the line, maybe 10. Okay, so now it's simpler. And I may now connect that curve to this endpoint. So I'm going to put back those endpoints in the right position. I can redefine, of course, my line. And I will make a spline from that endpoint to that curve here and do the same from that endpoint to that curve. Okay, if I really want to have something good, I could split also uh, at intersection point, that curve, that one, okay, and also do the same split that curve to that one to have a nice definition and you see that it's split it and you have no more blue curves. Uh, and again, I could also create a line, a spline from here to there and define myself the number of control points anywhere at the end. The software resampled it in order to be within the tolerance. So when you have those curves, you can modify it and maybe create a four side patches all the time. So I got uh, different patches here. Maybe I can create other curves. Uh, from here, this end to that end, maybe from here to there, and create the different patches. After that, you can maybe ask the software maybe to to dist or to to uh, split or to create uh, panels on that uh, to create curve mat patch network on this if you want to. So let's continue here. Looks okay. Maybe I will make create a curve from here here to there i missed it okay right mouse click and okay now i can also split all the curves together so that intersection point i need to split that one i select all and it splits all right so now what i can do here is oh maybe get rid of that little curve well i did a mistake there So then here I got a lot of curves and I can now modify it and create a patch network. So create patch network or to estimate and the software will try to find it for you. And divide those areas in little pieces in order to create auto surface. So you can see it's not that bad, it's quite smooth. Uh, maybe here you can see that this panel can be better than that. So I can maybe shuffle it. So I will just select that panel here i can see that it could be better i just need to check if the corners are well defined so not really so i will de de define my four corners one two three and four and it says six by four uh it would be better six by six so i will add or remove two patches here and it will go 
six by six, and I can apply, and it intersects automatically that one, so it modified it, and maybe that one has been modified also, and I can modify that like that if I want to, if I can modify the shape on every single panel. Uh, then here I can extract control lines and create auto surface on that if I want to. So if I go on next step and exit, I can here go back to exact surfacing and fit surface patch to get the surface model from that. Another way of using 3D Sketch is to extract some features uh, and by unrolling and re-rolling the curves. So here I got a, a can. I need to unroll this part and re-roll this part. So to do that, I will just right mouse click here and get a point where it should split. So I will just create a point uh, right there. Okay. Then from that point, I will create a real point. So here, from that entity, okay, and I will unroll that uh, model. So unroll as we have seen before, polygon unroll the scan, unroll the target is that one, the axis is Y, and the point is there. And OK, so the software enrolls the model. So now you can use this enroll mesh. I can hide that. Maybe I could create a plane there. Uh, let's create a plane and make a mesh fit here on that one, that one here and there and okay from this plane i will make maybe an offset so let's display the planes put the mouse on the plane control and move it down to four millimeters maybe yeah and then i will make a mesh here all right and i will extend it a little bit Okay, so from that, I will just create some curves, some auto sketch, make all the curves but that one and that one in a, yeah, in any kind of curves and okay. Now, what I can do is I can go back to my mesh display back my mesh so not that one but the previous one and maybe hide the plane and i would need to re-roll that curve so i will not go to mesh sketch i will go to a sketch 3d sketch and i will re-roll those curves so roll target is going to be that sketch the axis again is the y-axis so i should select the same thing as before and the split point is again point one as before and okay and now the software rerolled all the curves 